So if there's two things I don't like, it's challenges and doing things that everyone else is doing. So I guess it only makes sense that I do a challenge that everyone else is doing. You guys have asked me so many times, you win. Tomorrow I will be recording the 10,000 calorie challenge. I know this has been done time and time again and everyone tries to throw their own little spin on things. And of course, I'm gonna try to do that as well. And I don't want this to be like a 35 minute video, so let's get straight into it. Number one is this is going to be very catered towards me. And if you're familiar with my channel, you will understand what I'm talking about. These foods will be my favorite foods. So in the video, you know, you guys will understand. Number two, I am going to try to spend around $20. And you guys know I'm pretty cheap. That's really the only reason for that criteria. I got a list over here because I'm not smart enough to remember all this. Number three, this is the big one because I think the biggest complaint with this challenge is it's not a challenge. I have not seen one person fail because 10,000 calories is not that much food in terms of volume. You can just eat you know, a huge burger with like 100 grams of fat. That's pretty easy to do and like a dozen donuts and you're almost there. So there's not a whole lot of volume and I think the least amount of fat that I've seen anyone hit is like 430 grams, which is why you don't see that much volume because obviously fat has twice the amount of calories as a carb or protein. So I'm going to try to limit this to 200 grams of fat. And if you guys are good at math, you will know that that means I'm going to have to eat double the amount of food. So the ultimate goal is to get going to be to get as close as I can to 2,000 grams of carbs. It's going to be quite a bit of food, but I think that that is actually going to make this much more challenging. I don't think that I would have any problem polishing off 10,000 calories just eating a few pizzas, but I don't know. I probably have done it in a day, but just never tracked it. Number four is going to be replicating the Rock's legendary cheat day as close as I can. The reason I can't do it exactly is because I would go way over the fat intake. So I'm going to have to substitute out the pizzas, if you guys are familiar with the Rock's Cheat Day, with something else, which you guys will see very shortly. And number five is that any of these rules are subject to change whenever I feel necessary. So if it gets too challenging and I cannot complete it, I'll just change the rules and hit 500 grams of fat like everybody else, just so I can say I did it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. All right, just got to the gym. It's about 7 a.m. and I got my bag of Zours with me, which is the best sour candy in the entire world. Did not let anyone tell you different. Really the only one worth eating in my opinion. So I'm gonna have these while I work out. I'm probably not gonna get every bite on camera, but just know that I do not waste food and it's obviously gonna be very easy to eat right now. I'm a little bit concerned about the rest of the day, but we'll see what happens here. So I'm gonna go in, hopefully try to burn off as much as I can. I am gonna squat and deadlift today just to try to create as much room in my stomach as humanly possible because I'm gonna need it. Just got home, it's 9.38. You can see I didn't even finish all of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick. It was very deceiving because that sourness just like sticks in your mouth and it almost makes it hard to eat after a while. I thought it was gonna be no problem, but I will finish them. Then I'm gonna go shower and then get to some real food. They say that if you eat a lot of one food that makes this challenge a lot harder. So that's what it's all about. I'm gonna try to make this challenge as hard as humanly possible, but I'll be right back with you guys. The amount of food I have laid out downstairs is just ridiculous. I don't know whether to be excited or scared. And there's a reason I have not played the intro yet. Trust me, just be patient. You guys will understand very shortly and if you've been following along with the channel for a while You know that one of my favorite foods in the entire world is hungry jack pancake mix And unfortunately I can no longer find the chocolate chip mix around here So I had to stick with the regular stuff, but we're gonna make some marshmallow pancakes I'm gonna use almost the entire box and really I'm just gonna do marshmallow because it will save me in some fat So I'm gonna do some fluff which you guys know I use on almost everything and some regular marshmallows throw some bananas on top to make this a very healthy meal and we're gonna have a little bit of fun with this Yeah. 
your problems and look at all your smiling friends Till break is quake Don't you know, don't you know you can settle for more Don't you know, don't you know you can settle for more Don't you know, don't you know you can settle for more Don't you know, don't you know you can settle for more This is gonna take entirely too long to eat to show you every bite, but I'm not really slowing down yet, and here's what I've got left. These things are so freaking good. I cannot even explain how good these are. So I'm gonna finish these up, and then I'll finish up these marshmallows, and then I'll check back in with you guys. Remember about two minutes ago when I said I was not slowing down? I think I'm regretting that. It kinda just hit me. This is gonna be a long day, guys. You know, it's funny because everyone watches these challenges and myself included and it's like, yeah, that's not hard, 10,000 calories. I can see where this is going to be a challenge. So, we got half a pancake left. We're going to do it. It's way too early for the fun to be wearing off already, but we got the pancakes and the marshmallows out of the way. Even thinking about everything I still have left to eat, it's going to be interesting, guys. I can now see why everyone takes a nap when they do this challenge, but I have to edit this video together piece by piece. The reason you're not going to see this right when it was recorded is because it will take me forever to edit this. My computer is old and cannot handle all this footage, so it's going to be a process, but we will get it done. Just figured I would show you where we're at so far. We're about halfway done with the food for the day. I don't want to show you what's coming up next just yet, and I logged this on January 18th if anyone is curious. So we got everything I just ate, and then, oh, you see there's four bananas there. I ate two pre-workout and two just now. And there's the pre-workout, the apple, the cereal, and the Zowers. Well, it looks like it's about time to eat again. I am by no means hungry, but I'm not feeling too bad. I'm feeling a lot better than I was the last time I talked to you. So I do think I can get some more food in me. We might have to break this meal up into maybe two or three sittings. This is going to be pretty huge. And I don't think anyone's going to be surprised that I'm going to have some pasta. It's almost two pounds, about 28 ounces of pasta. Going to just boil that up, throw some sauce in there, call it a day. Everyone who I asked advice from on this challenge said just don't stop. If you can keep putting food in your body, keep going because it gets pretty bad at the end of the day. So we're just going to see how far we can work ahead and then kind of worry about things as they come along. I always say I can eat an endless amount of pasta. So it's time for me to put my money where my mouth is. It just kind of feels like I'm forgetting something. gonna make it through this video without having some ricotta then I am gonna be very disappointed I want to have this whole thing unfortunately too much dairy really messes me up so I'm only gonna be able to have about half of this container which even then is kind of risky but we're gonna go with it look at that goodness we just went zero to a hundred real quick are you guys twirlers you should be if you're not this is so good I will always love you Shh, this doesn't count in the calories. It's more than just being famous. It's feelings, conversations. It's me being gone too long and you testing my patience. But at the end of it all, you still got my heart racing. We so out of this world like we blasting off in a spaceship. It's real love. Baby girl, it feels so amazing. And I know that without it, I couldn't take it. I want to thank you for the album. Without you, I wouldn't make it. After all these years, I know you don't get tired of me saying. Oh my gosh, 
I know I just said I could fit some more food in, but I am getting full so quickly. I took like three bites of that, and I was like, all right, I'm done. Well, you know, I took more than that. You guys are probably watching it right now. But this is a lot of food, and <laughs> to be honest, I think that this would be more fun had I gone out and got a burger, got some pizza, got my favorite dessert in the entire world, chocolate chip cookies. But I was trying to make my own criteria here, stay within my fat boundaries, mimic the rock challenge, the things that I do for the YouTube and to entertain you. But either way, who wouldn't want to at least try to eat 10,000 calories in one day? If this is my biggest life problem, I think I'm doing pretty well. We still got a long way to go. All right, I'm gonna try to keep chipping away at this. God bless my soul. No matter how hard I try, I I'm going out of my mind. No matter how hard I try, I And I'm going out of my mind. Breathe in and breathe out. I'm breathing the clouds so high up, but I'm so deep underground. All I got is that sound, a few dollars in a dream. Why you gotta feel dirty to look so clean? You gotta do that brown just to see that green. I had to lay that down, now I'm on my feet. I used to wonder how my team gonna eat now. We the only I literally can't even right now. I literally can't even. I'll be back. Maybe it ran away. Maybe, maybe, does pasta evaporate? Guess not. Oh. Alright guys, so over the last hour or so, what I've been doing is just moving around the house. I had to get up. I wanted to sleep, but I don't know that that's going to help me much. I haven't taken a nap since I was like, I don't know. I probably did this. I, anyway, this is just not as fun as you would think. So, this is probably the only time in my life I'm not excited to eat pasta, but I am going to get through this stupid bowl. So I moved the weights from the basement to the garage now that it's warm outside, something that I needed to do anyway. It did feel good just to get moving around. It's like this food is just sitting right here and it's not going anywhere. All right guys, we're gonna make it through. I can't believe, all right, it's 5.30. We're gonna make it. We are gonna, it's not 5.30, it's almost 5.30. I'll show you the clock. I never understood when people would say they ate so much of one food they would get sick of it. I was always like, you know, I love pasta. I'll never get sick of pasta. But I get it now. I get it. Oh, it's hard to even edit it. I don't even want to look at you anymore. And this is not even budging. I'm eating literally like a bite every three minutes, which is why I turned the camera off because this is going to be too long and too drawn out. I apologize for that. So let me take the card out of this camera. I'm using two cameras if you guys have not picked up on that by now. Get this in the editing software. Let me just pick away at this. Oh, if you're just at home watching this, this probably isn't gonna make much sense, but I just don't know that I can finish that. I know it seems like nothing at all, but if you've done a food challenge, you probably understand my pain right now. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna leave it there. Uh. But I honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't know that I can finish that. All right, sleeping was a fail, so it's eight o'clock. I'm gonna try to finish this pasta. And then, hopefully, go make the last thing and get this terrible challenge over with. All right guys, so I'll put the calories on the screen right now, both for the meal I just finished and the daily total. And while you watch me eat that, I'll get on to the brownies, which if you've seen the Rocks Challenge, you're probably not too surprised. Look at these. I, I, it's sick, but I'm almost a little bit excited to try this. But I know that after I take one bite, I'm going to hate my life. 
Oh. So these cheesecake swirl brownies, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of math to get the exact portion that I want because I only have to eat 10 to hit my goals and there's 18 in this box and I'm not eating more than I have to. So I'll take you guys through my math so you guys know I'm not frauding and then thankfully this day will be over. I don't think I did this cheesecake swirl thing right. I don't know how to make brownies. I'm still gonna eat them. So for anyone interested in how I'm gonna figure this out, the whole pan is 509 grams. Subtract out the pan which I weighed initially, gives me 469. I only want 10 out of the 18 that this supposedly makes. So 10 18 is 0.5 repeating. So I wanna eat about 261 grams of this brownie. Just for good measure, we'll go 280. They're gonna be good, but <sighs> so rich. I forgot, I've also got some ice cream. We're gonna be having three servings of, I don't know what it is, that Edie's ice cream, low fat, of course. I'm trying to stay healthy on this uh, day of eating. So let me get that out of the freezer, and then we'll start this. Feeling very confident about this, maybe too confident. I just feel so much better than I did when I was eating that pasta. I honestly thought I was gonna get sick, but we'll see. That is a lot of brownie. I can't even tell you how much easier these brownies are than the pasta. I think it's because you don't really have to chew anything, and it's just so dense. There's so many calories in like one little brownie that you don't have to eat a whole lot of it. So that plate really didn't look like, you know, too many in my opinion. Maybe it's just because my stomach is expanding after all this food, but I don't know. I was honestly thinking when I was eating that pasta that this challenge was never going to happen. And now I'm looking at what's left on this plate after I finish eating everything that you're probably watching. And I mean, this is over. I mean, I definitely completed the challenge and I don't even feel that bad. I mean, trust me, there's no way I want to eat anymore, but it's not like I'm about to puke. Let's do it. So this is going to be old news by the time you guys see this, but needless to say, my bracket is now completely trash. But before I get into a rant about that, it is 9.34, Saturday, March 21st, and I just completed 10,000 plus calories, I believe. I'm going to have to look at the final numbers, but I have no desire to put any more food in my body. I, I don't think I've ever been this full in my entire life. This is... This is pretty bad. I've always said that I don't get full. Well, that is clearly a lie. Um, let me put the price of everything across the screen as well. I think I got pretty close. I listed out everything I had to go out and buy, but it's kind of cheating because I did have some stuff here. I think I spent under 20 bucks. So got that goal accomplished. Should have hit 2,000 grams of carbs. I'm gonna go double check everything. So not bad for a day's work besides the fact that I stayed home all day, did nothing besides eat and clean my kitchen and edit video. That's it, that's what I did with my weekend. That's it, but it's one weekend, right? It's one Saturday, I can still go out and do stuff tomorrow. Oh, all right guys, let me, uh, let me just sit for a little bit. 10,570 calories. I tried to show you guys the scale on this also, you guys can go back and fact check me if you like. 
So 660 grams of pancake mix. That was so much. That was one of the more filling things that I've ever eaten. But nothing can compare to this pasta. Almost 4,000 calories and I did not enjoy about 98% of it. That first bite, you probably heard me in the video, oh, this is so good. God, that was terrible. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna eat pasta for at least three or four days. <laughs> All right, so then we have uh, the cheesecake brownies. So this was the, this was no problem whatsoever. So on the pre-workout, we had the apple, the puff wheat cereal, and the Zowers, and I did have two bananas, but I logged them. Ah, uh, where am I doing? Where, where am I doing? What am I doing? What? All right, so. I don't even know, my mind's all over the place right now. 173 grams of fat, 2,016 carbs, 77 grams of uh, fiber. See guys, you gotta hit your fiber, that's really important. And 237 grams of protein with 12,000 milligrams of salt. Should I do it? Should I do it? I have never been so excited to end a video. We are finished for anyone that stuck around this entire time. I appreciate that more than you know. I'm gonna put some bonus footage right here. I don't know guys, just because I can, I'm not gonna count that. But if you did make it this whole time, let me know what the most amount of calories you have eaten in one day is. Hopefully not this many, but I'm sure some of you can out eat me out there. <sighs> I'm not feeling too hot guys, as I'm sure you can probably assume. But it could be a lot worse. I know a lot of people end this and they're like looking like they're about to die. I think I'm alright. But it's just, oh, I don't even want to think about food for a really long time. Maybe I will record some footage tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe I could do it a day after. I don't know. Let's go. Actually, I'm going to put on the screen what I'm weighing right now. But that has no relevance because I don't know what I usually weigh in the evenings. I'll try to put maybe my weight tomorrow morning or maybe that will be in the video of the, the day after the 10K challenge, so watch that one. But please like this video if you enjoyed it. I would really appreciate that. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. That would really mean a lot to me. And I'll talk to all you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.